What are you doing? You trying to get up on the bed? I don't think you'd be able to, honey. I know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, what's today? Tuesday. <laughs> I'm supposed to be at work again. I'm trying to fold laundry. Oh, sad. John is sick again. Um, well, not again, he's still sick. I thought he was getting better, and then he got sick again, and then I thought he got better, and then he got sick again. So, it's been a week of battling this illness, whatever it is. Hello, focus. And, um, so anyways, yesterday he woke up, or I guess it was Sunday night, he got a temperature of 101, and it stayed... He had it all night and then woke up with a temperature of 101 the next morning. Tylenol has been breaking the fever, but as soon as the Tylenol wears off, the fever comes right back. So we've been keeping an eye on it. Evan stayed home from work yesterday with him and I went back to work. Well, then this morning, he went back to work and when John woke up, I picked him up out of his crib and he was burning up. He was so hot, so warm. So I took his temperature and it was 103.5 and that's the highest it's been at all this week. Um, so I called when his doctor's office opened and I asked them if they could get him in today or if they thought I should just take him to urgent care. Why is my camera keep? Okay, that's better. So anyways, I asked if they thought I should just take him to urgent care or if they could get him in this morning and they said go ahead and bring him in this morning they want to assess his assess him before um, I make the decision to take him to urgent care or not and they can let me know whether they think I should take him in there um, so he's got an appointment at 1140 this morning and let's see, it's about 1030 I think um, I'm hoping they can tell us something because I don't know what the heck is going on and I feel so bad for him I was just like holding him in my kitchen this morning, crying. And he was just like, had his head on my chest and I was just like crying because I just feel so bad for him and I don't, I don't know what else I can do for him. All right, I just got him dressed for his doctor's appointment. Just in some comfy clothes. I know, honey. It's okay, I promise. Oh. Why don't you go watch TV? I put on Elmo's World, it's your favorite. Anyway, so yeah, I got him already. I'm not going to do anything with myself. I just don't care today. Um, and I'm just taking care of some laundry right now because in being sick for the past week, I just haven't done any laundry besides like washing our bedding and stuff like that. But I haven't done like any of our laundry. So we're out of clothes. <laughs> so I've been doing laundry all morning. And I'm just working on taking care of some of the laundry that's already done. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Stand up, honey. Here you go. Fix your hair. Oh, you want to sit? Hang on. No, stand up. Come here. Stand up. <laughs> you spray him? Stand up. Come on, stand up. Can you see? Here you go. Here you go. Good job. There you go. Look at this wispy hair. Oh, let's see how you look. Oh, 
<gasps> Look at that handsome baby. Oh, he sprayed yourself. He sprayed. Look at that little handsome boy. But we're getting ready to head out to the doctor's office. So I'm just getting things cleaned up around the house a little bit before we leave. I don't know why. I'm coming right back. Okay, we are off to the doctor's office. Um, running a little late, actually, per usual. Oh, it's okay. We just got to the doctor's office. We're just waiting. We just checked in online. You go to like an app and they have you check in. Oh, there's my new background. I don't know if you can see it very good. But anyways, um, you go to an app. Oh, and I think they're calling me. Hello? All right, we just got in. They took his vitals. He doesn't have a temperature right now. Oh my gosh, your hands are so cold, honey. They are repainting the doctor's office here, and it's really nice, very bright. How you feeling, Bibbs? How you feeling? He lost a little bit of weight, I'm assuming, from all the puking you've been doing, huh? I'll get puking. It's okay, I know, he's got a pimple. Alright, pop it. Okay, honey. Okay, so. Are you okay? Oh, honey, you're okay. <laughs> you just got the most heartbreaking little sad face ever. <sighs> okay, so we just got out of the doctor's. I'm gonna tell you guys more about it when we get home and he's happier. Okay, so we're back home now. Can you please take that out of your mouth? He keeps like walking around with the end of this little golf club hanging out of his mouth and I'm like, that's just not safe. That's not a good idea. Okay, so we're home. Basically, basically the doctor told me there's just really no good explanation as to why he's sick like there's nothing on him that screams like oh this is why he's sick you know easy fix he's not his ears yeah it's not his ears his tonsils aren't swollen he doesn't have any teeth coming in you know he doesn't have a rash anywhere nothing like that so there's nothing on him that screams like this is why he's sick so she's like it could be gastrointestinal you guys know what i'm trying to say um Thing is, is like, you know how I was saying earlier, is like we were thinking neurovirus. She said it could have been. Thing about neurovirus is the temperatures don't go up that high. So this morning when he had a temperature of 103.5, that's really uncommon in neurovirus. Neurovirus is low grade fevers. Um, so, and you, you could tell she was really trying to like word things in a way that wouldn't freak me out. And I wish the doctors wouldn't do that because I'm just not somebody who gets freaked out like that. I would much rather hear things put to me like plain and blunt, like just short and simple, just so I know like what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, like just tell me. She was trying to say this to me in a way that didn't freak me out, but basically she said, there's really nothing else that it could be besides this that I can think of. And so John ended up getting a COVID test. Do we think it's COVID? We're not, we don't know. It's just, it would really explain everything that's going on with him. So, he got a COVID test. He hated it. He screamed, screamed. Oh my gosh, she is not his favorite person anymore. She walked out to get something, and when she walked back in, John started, like, screaming again. She, he didn't even want her in there. So anyways, um, we should be getting those results back in, like, one to two days, she said. Fingers crossed he'll be better by then. This temperature goes down. Everything's back to normal. But as of right now, we're just waiting on the COVID test. He, I felt so bad. Oh my gosh, I shoved that thing so far up in your nose. I just, as soon as she said it, I was like, I knew it. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. We're home. Like I said, I have some soup on for John. I have to do like um, a really bland diet for him right now. Why is my camera not focused? I don't under, is it the pictures in the background? I don't understand. The not, I'm so sorry that my face is blurry all day. I don't know why my camera's doing this. 
All right, John just chowed down on some soup and then I put him in his crib for a nap and I think he rolled right over and went to sleep, but let's go check on him. That was a very short nap. Oh, honey. It's okay. So I was just like, it's okay. I was just sitting out in the living room watching. I was sitting out in the living room just watching a video. And all of a sudden, John woke up from his nap just screaming. Like, I mean, screaming. Like, and he's only been sleeping for like maybe an hour. And he just woke up so upset. And he's all sweaty. Do you want, you want a Pedialyte pop? So it's been a few hours since I've picked up the camera. <laughs> Say hi. Because John has had a pretty rough. Okay, so like I was saying, John's had a really rough afternoon. So he, uh. Are you done playing? Um, he slept for less than an hour and then woke up screaming. I think I told you guys that. Um, and then I went in there and got him and brought him out here and he just kept like crying like <laughs> you can't get up here I got you and so I rocked him for a little bit and then he just started screaming like just screaming throwing himself around on the ground <laughs> screaming didn't want me to touch him nothing I offered him was helping I tried giving him water a popsicle a like snack like he just didn't want any of it he didn't want me to touch him and then so he just I just sat down and I like there was nothing I could do he was just screaming throwing himself around on the floor and then all of a sudden he stopped and he looked at me and started crying again like but like whimpering not screaming and he came over to me put his arms up and I picked him up and he like <coughs> excuse you and I sat him on my lap, but like facing me, and he just put his head down on my chest and started like whimpering. And I started sobbing. Like just sobbing because I, just, I don't know what to do for him. Like I know I'm doing everything that I can, but it's just not enough for him right now, like to make him feel better. And so anyways, I'll insert the picture from that here. Um, oh, don't poke the lens. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I know. So anyways, he fell asleep on me. Um, and he was sleeping for about 15 minutes. And then, oh, my stomach. And then George woke him up like a jerk. Stinking dogs. So, he woke up from that. And he's been awake ever since. He was crying for a while. And I gave him yogurt melts, even though she said not to give him dairy or like out of food here. And I can't go to the stores. So somebody, I don't know, somebody's going to have to go to the store for us or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out because we need stuff that he can eat. 
<sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. So anyways, it's like 5.30 now. I don't think I've eaten anything today because I've just been handling John. Um, so I'm gonna try and figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner and uh, take it from there. He's watching Frozen now, I have it muted, and that's why he's not exactly the happiest. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here. <sighs> Pray for me. Pray for John, please. Pray for him to get better. Pray for my sanity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I'm just worried about him. But he'll be fine too. Um, thanks for following you guys. And thank you for the sweet comments. And thank you for everybody who's reached out to me asking about John and has worried about our little family. It means a lot that so many people care and so many people um are worried about us and are concerned so thank you all for the concern and i hope we all start feeling better soon um i'll see you in the next one bye